Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic. Time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay nerds, I'ma let you know how to install this brand new ROM, the Resurrection Remix ROM on your LG V20. The link is in the description below, it will send you to this URL. Give thanks to the developer, JTrasher47, gotta love this dude. Once you're on the page, all you gotta do is scroll down, you will see these URL links. Just download the one that is for your particular LG V20, I'm using AT&T. So I will be downloading the H910, it will send you to this link. Oh, a link identical to this. <laughs> And once you're on the link, all you gotta do is click begin download. It will take like 10 seconds. Let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> then you just click on primary download. I will not be doing that because I have it downloaded already. And from there, you just click on gaps. Where the hell is the gaps at? Am I getting friggin' blind? Okay, I think. Uh, where the hell is it? Okay, I found it. Click on gaps. What the hell? Click! <laughs> Once you're on it, it will send you here. Now, just line up the column like how I do. First one, ARM64. Second one, 7.1. Last one, stock. Then once you get that done, just click on the arrow right here and download that shit. Uh, once you download that shit, you can use the application Quick Reboot to go into recovery. Since I have a different ROM on, I will be just going to recovery this way. <laughs> okay, hurry up. Uh, once you're in recovery, make sure to do a backup, and after you're finished doing that backup, once you're finished with that, all you gotta do is click on wipe, and then we're gonna factory reset, swipe. After that's done, you just go back, then we go advanced wipe, dial the cache, and cache, best practice, then you swipe to wipe. Once that's done, go back, then we go back again, then we're gonna go install, then we're just gonna look for that ROM, uh, where the hell is Resurrection Remix at? Should be here somewhere. Oh, I think it's RR. Okay, probably uh, is it that? RR. Yeah, that's it. Okay, swipe the flash. Okay, and once it's completed, all you gotta do wipe down the cache. You guys know that already is my best practice. So just wipe that stuff, and then we go back. Now we're just gonna flash the gaps. Now this will take at least ten minutes on you guys then. Flashing. Pew! Boof! Holy shit! <laughs> Sting! <laughs> All right, and once this completed, now um, just pretty much wipe the cache again, and after you wipe that, just reboot. All right, and it will take at least 10 minutes for the reboot to complete, and once it's done, you will be in the ROM. Just complete the setup, wizard. And so far, it looks pretty good. What I love so far about it, I love the round pixel icons. That's pretty amazing. Uh, but what I'm not liking already, god damn it, it doesn't look like if the second screen is working. Again, I will investigate this just to see. Let me see if I can see any type of setting that can get this second screen on. Okay, the brightness works, that's good. Google Chrome works perfectly. That pulls up pretty good. Internet connection, that's good. GPS is working. Let's go into settings here, see what all we got. Okay, so we got like a Google Pixel layout. That's pretty much good. Everything looks very de-bloated. I love that. Now let's take off NFC. NFC is a battery drainer. If you don't need it, don't use it. Okay, I'm just looking around. Take off location. I hate having location on. Only for a particular app I'll put it on for. Because that drain your battery like hell. Okay, let's see. As you guys can see as well, we're on 7.1.1. That's the version that we're on. But I mean, overall, it's moving buttery smooth so far. I like how fast it is. Okay, that didn't do anything. But come on, where can we find something? Some type of customization to get the second screen working. Oh, configuration. Let's see what's in here. Holy shit. We, all these are configuration for status bar, panels, recents, quick settings, lock screen, gestures, buttons, animations, interface, miscellaneous, about... Son of a bitch! Okay guys, I may have to do another video and see my findings because I'm going to mess with this shit a lot right now. This is a lot of customization. And if you find this video helpful, like and subscribe and have yourself an awesome day. I love you guys.